Hey guys, and welcome to my first episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. Uh, for this save, I'm actually going to start in 1129, uh, beginning of the year, in the 1st of January. And I'm going to go for Duke Geoffrey IV of Anjou. Uh, and he's actually part of House Plantagenet. Um, now, if you're not sure who House Plantagenet is, if you ever know Richard the Lionheart, he was part of the House Plantagenet. And eventually they actually started, uh, they ruled all of England for a while, and the War of the Roses and all that. So the starting area that he has, I believe, is Anjou, Maine, and Vidome are the three. Now, for this game, the DLCs I'm running is, i got the Sword of Islam, Legacy of Rome, the Republic, Old Gods, Sons of Abraham, and the Rajas of India. So with the Rajas of India, you can see over here on the map, I actually have India. I actually made the map a little bit bigger, a bit of Sri Lanka there as well. I'm going to be playing this on Iron Man mode, which I seem to normally do. And let's get going. So put that under the Let's Play, Iron Man Anjou. Let's go! So obviously this guy starts off as a kid, and he has a chance to get married. Uh, so my first port of call is actually to get him married. Now, um, the person I'm going to marry him off to is if I can find her. This is actually what happened in real life as well. It was Princess Matilda. So I'm going to arrange a betrothal. Yep. Now, the nice thing about this is it means that, hopefully, once the King of England dies, without him having any more sons, it should be her. We're hoping. Obviously, there's no heir to my dynasty because I'm too young. I'll lose my titles. And I have children lacking guardians, who is my brother. He's both my brothers, actually. So, I'm going to get you educated. Um, yeah, I don't really want Craven if I can help it. I don't really want to give you ambitious either. I don't want you trying to come after my titles. Uh, hmm. Chaste, trusting, kind, proud. Yeah, we'll do that. The other one is me. So, who do I want to educate me? Yeah, that's me. I'd get someone with really high stats if I could. There's not really much choice. Let's see, kind, hmm. paranoid, patient. Patient's nice to have. Lustful, well. Fortune builder. He's a possibility. I choose her. I mean, Misguided Warrior I'm not too worried about, because hopefully I could... Um, you know, pick up somebody who's better than a Misguided Warrior. Like, I got Skill Tactician... Yeah, I got two Skill Tacticians, so at least that might help get me a decent martial score. Not that it's important. I mean, I could always just go for Fortune Builder. Okay. So, let's see what I have. Oh, I'm going to do my Council. Um, I'm going to 
want to get you to go improve oops religious relations or I'm used to using the ASD to move um, you know I'm gonna study technology and I'm gonna pop you over in Constantinople. Um, collect taxes. Train troops, why not? Talking of troops, so I can raise 2276, but 26, 2700, I'd say. Not quite enough to create a red to new. And I can't learn anything yet. And I can't build anything yet. So we'll increase that to three. The Bektashi Order, the Sufi sect of dervishes, has arisen under the leadership of a certain Haji Bektashwali, a mystic from Khorasan. Striving for unity of being, Bektash. Bektashis trains a soul through meditation and contemplation of the inner meaning of the Quran. The Bektashi order is a warlike and especially popular among the Sunni Muslim soldiers. The order is sworn to protect Islam and to combat infidels and poly polytheists of all kind. Mystic sol soldiers pa. Cool. Decide to institute limited crown authority. Uh, sure. Why not? A jihad for Jerusalem. Oh dear. That's not good. What terrible news. Um, good, well you decide to accept the betrothal, which is good, which means that I can get hopefully England at some point. Now the last... oh. Must be Let's see how old is my guy? I'm fifteen. Um I'm gonna wait well Oh, I'm not old enough to join the war, I don't think. No, okay. Must have to wait till I hit <clears throat> sixteen. Jihad for Jerusalem. Well, I guess the downside is if it does flip over to Islam, then there will be a crusade for Jerusalem, and I might have a chance to, um... Ah, good. Crusade for Andalusia. Deus Volt! We're definitely going to offer to join this. Offer to join war. Yes! Because the plus point about this is that um, I have a chance to hopefully, actually I'm going to turn that down to two, hopefully be able to pick up some land out of this. Let's have a look. Good. Cute. Oh, King Conan the Fat. Merge these together. Now, before I continue, actually, I want to think about this for a second.
See, if fortune, if fortune builder might be worthwhile, because I'll still get a plus one to marshal, which will take me up to eight. Plus six stewardship, which will take it to nine. Learning and fertility. That That is if, if obviously, I get... Um, what I'm looking for. Oops. Uh, switch to that. So we're gonna move down to here. Cause that should be yes. So let's see. Pope Honorus the First. Let's hope Mr. King Henry of England here is gonna pull his thumb out and get some ass kicking going. Is it that is France doing? Ah, shit. Okay, obviously they found my spy master, which is never good. Um, who dislikes me? Yeah, you kind of dislike me. Most unfortunate. Let's hope they don't do something stupid like blind them or something. Because that would kind of piss me off. Okay, so I can put... Ah, oh, they blinded him! Yeah. Bastard! Well, that isn't good. I'm gonna, uh... Oops. Oh no, they're the same. Well, that does suck. I mean, it's not a huge issue, it's just a bit of a pain in the ass. Okay, never been more sh Never sh been a mm. There's not a shortage of troops, which is good. I wonder where they're heading to. So, who are you? Oh, you're my chancellor, okay. Um, let's improve the diplomatic relations with England, just for... Because I don't really want to sow dissent, or... Actually, we'll go over here, I think, and then we'll start attacking from this side. Worried too much about building stuff. Okay, nice. Regency is ended. I'm a fortune builder. Which isn't bad. I don't have the best of stats, but it's not horrid. Um, betrothed can marry. Yes. Pick an ambition. Um. Yeah, we'll improve diplomacy for now. Good, okay, so this is what I gotta keep an eye on. Sure. Make sure that she's still the heir. Oh, it's only saying that because I'm already married. So. As long as she can stay the heir to the King of England, that's good, because my kids, then, will, um, 
get England. Which is not a bad thing. And all I gotta make sure of now is that England pulls its thumb out and starts... Um... Kicking some ass. I've done more than Mr. Henry has, but I don't know, he's, he's starting to pull ahead a little bit. As long as, as long as England wins this crusade and gets the land, I'm over the moon. Oh, yeah, I'm not worried about that. Duke Fergus of Galloway? What? Who the hell is that? Or should I say, where the hell is that? Oh, wow. Well, I really hope Scotland doesn't pull this off, because if they do, that's going to be kind of... Ah, oh, there we go, King Henry. Woohoo! Keep going, Mr. Henry. You are, in essence, giving me all the south of Spain. Ha 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 ha. Now, just make sure that my wife is still the heir to the Kingdom of England. Because if she, if for some reason, um, he has a son, then, um,. It basically means I'm going to have to kill off the sun. Oh, no, I want to educate him with my court chaplain. Um, maybe I can turn him into... No, I don't think I can turn him into a bishop or force him to take orders, because he is... Second in line. Yeah, Henry's got this. This is nothing. See, I don't really have to worry too, mu too much about upgrading it because eventually that's going to be my capital. That's going to need a lot of work. Although, to be honest, Anju actually has a pretty decent capital in comparison. Oh, he's the hunchback. Actually, let me see how... Let's see if I can get a... Wife for you. Oh. Sweet. Well, at least you're doing more than King Niels of Denmark is, and the Pope. Nice. Wife is pregnant. Last time I actually played through this. I think I had all daughters. I ended up having mostly daughters, I think. I even forgot to look. I didn't even look to see what she has. Normally, if you're playing CK2, you would uh, be concerned with what she has. But that's not bad for someone who's chaste and a dutiful cleric. I did manage to get her pregnant, which is good. But obviously I made this marriage more for um, the ability to get England rather than um, anything else.
Nice. So that's one down. Eight percent. Uh, good. Succumb to starvation. Now, the problem that I'm going to have is... Um, well, actually, no, maybe not. If Last time I did this, the king actually died halfway through the whole crusade. Which kind of sucked, because then all of a sudden I had all of these... Um, I was way over my demence limit. So basically, William the Conqueror, that was his son. Oh. Well, shit. Is there anyone here who hates me? Yeah, you do. Actually, I should probably put myself as one of the um, commanders, just so I can get the Crusader trait. Because the Crusader trait's actually... Oh good, he hasn't been blinded. Thanks. Uh, let me see what it gives. Plus two Marshall, and plus 25 Church Opinion, which isn't terrible, you know. So what I'm going to do is I want to move over to there. There we go. Managed to uh, sneak that in. Now once I get all this war done, then I can then go on a uh, pilgrimage, which will help, which will make the church like me even more. Um, plus, it will give me, pardon me, a decent foothold to get into North Africa if I want it. I always have to double check just to be sure that, um... Oh, there we go. See? A daughter. Matilda. Um... I'm gonna call you Elizabeth. So you're my heir, and you're sickly. Great. She's, I'm Frankish, she's Norman, and the daughter is Frankish, okay. That makes sense. Uh, that could be problematic. I'm just gonna... 10th of January... 1st of January, okay, that's good. Oh, they're attacking... Rebels, is it? An uprising. Sweet. Okay, well, I'm just going to go back and take your uh, province then while you're doing that. Now, the only time it becomes an issue is when England, if she takes over England and then. Um, And then England and France go to war because then we're royally fucked. Because we're basically fighting each other. And that doesn't normally go down well. Shit. I'm gonna lose this, I think. I don't see that I'm gonna be able to pull out of this one. expected. 
Ooh, so there's Aquitaine is fighting against France now. Yeah, I'm getting my butt handed to me. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to move up to here and we're going to disband. Because there's nothing I can do with 130 people. And King Henry has got a substantial lead over Genoa. So all that should become English. And the... Uh, sorry, that's my phone if anybody's wondering. What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to stop the video here. So tune in next time when we find out the result of the crusade and hopefully it will go to England. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.